Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve and I have your word for the day. Today as followers of Jesus, we have four opportunities to gather together for worship at Calvary. At 2 p.m., we will have a classic, uh, classic Christmas Eve service at the McCulloch campus. And then we're going to worship today at 3, 4.30 and 6 o'clock at our Sweetwater campus. If you are living here in Lake Havasu, I hope you're able to brave this fierce winter weather and worship the Lord with us. Uh, we have a bunch, uh, Christy and I have a bunch of Christmas gifts underneath our tree right now. Uh, tomorrow morning, our daughters are going to see the presents, they're going to unwrap them, and they're probably going to play with them for about five minutes. Wouldn't it be bizarre if all four of our daughters saw the presents underneath the tree, but they refused to unwrap them to enjoy them? If they asked for them, they got excited for them, if they circled them in the magazines or sent us links. But then when they were wrapped underneath the tree, they didn't even bother to unwrap them. Wouldn't that be odd? That would be bizarre behavior. Yet that is how many people handle the gift of Jesus. Day after day, they call out for hope, but they refuse to surrender their lives to Jesus and trust him as Savior. John 3.16 says, For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. If you've heard about Jesus, if you've read about Jesus, if you have sung songs about Jesus, but you have not yet received that gift, you're just like mine and Christie's children, just like they would be if they don't open up their gifts tomorrow morning. The gift of Jesus is yours. Forgiveness of sins is yours. And all you have to do is receive that gift of Jesus Christ. Surrender your life to him this Christmas and your life, your eternity, it will never ever be the same. In fact, there is no gift as great as the gift that God gave to the world. Forgiveness of sins and a relationship with God through his son, Jesus. It is my prayer that you and your family would have a very Merry Christmas. God bless.